I was recommended to use this product to seal my hives, um, the exteriors of the supers and the brood chambers uh, by a couple members of my beekeepers association because it is 100% natural, no VOC, um, and it is one treatment for life. I do uh, beekeep organically, so I don't like the idea of painting or really any man-made products to come in contact with the, the wood that anything the bees might touch. Uh, it does make one gallon per package, and that's what the directions say. And I'm not gonna need anywhere near a gallon, so I'm just gonna be splitting it up. I put in one eighth of a gallon, a pint, and then in order to measure it, I, I just use my little scale here. If I can get it to turn on. There we go. And I'll weigh the package. 1.6, I want one eighth of that out. So I'll empty some in here until I have 1.4. Didn't take much out at all. That might have been too much. Yep, so I'll just add a little bit of water to this and stir it up. Okay, so I added a little water and stirred it up real good. It's almost like a gray green color and that's ready to go. Still, I think even that is more than I need. I could have done even less, but I still have plenty more to make for other treatments of all different kinds of wood products. So here I have in my basement um, the different parts of the hive that I'm going to be painting. If you hear in the background, that's my spring chickens. <laughs> I have this temporarily in the basement because it's real cold outside and uh, it was just easy. This week I'm going to disassemble it and bring them outside and add them to the uh, barnyard. But anyway, you'll hear that in the video. So these are the pieces of the hive. If you're not familiar with it, this is the base here. This is the entry reducer. It has through two different types. Um, I'm not going to use this, even though it is equal friendly, on uh, anything inside the hives or what the bees are going to live in. So I'm not going to do the base. Um, I may just do the, the top, the outer lip, the outside here, um, the bottom, because uh, that can be uh, collect mildew and have moisture under there. Um, this is the inner cover. Uh, I will not be um, doing this at all because this is going to be under the outer cover. So that is not exposed to the elements, however, I will seal the outside part and the underside part because that's anything that really is affected by the weather and gets moisture on it but doesn't uh, touch where the bees live. So in my brood chamber here, again I'll do the outside, I'll give special attention to the, the end grain, really soak that down. Um, I might lightly touch the edges but again I'm not going to go past here into where the bees live and then my super is the same way. I won't touch any of the combs but I will do the outside. Okay, so I'm just finishing the last side of my brood chamber. I already did the other four sides um, and all the other things, the supers, the uh, sides of the base, the bottom of the base, the sides of the top cover, and that's it. So I just want to show you how, how it goes on. Um, again, as long as you're not on top, you can be real messy with this to really let it soak in. You see, it takes the wood and it makes it almost like a, um, a, a graying effect. And uh, as you can see, I really focus on the end grain. So that's super porous and that's going to soak up a lot. So I do that on both sides. Finish up the rest. And also the cool thing about this product, according to their instructions, is even if you miss a spot, actually the more it rains, um, it will run it down into other pores. So it actually improves coverage the more you get it wet. And according to them, it's a lifetime treatment one time. So, and again, I very carefully went around the top edge. Be careful not to let it drip in. Again, probably is not a big deal because it is 100% natural, but still it's unnecessary. 
So that is it, and uh, to show you how much I have left, and I made about one eighth because I put in too much. So I could have went with like one sixteenth of that bag. Uh, I'm not sure if it keeps too well, but I can't even imagine what you would need a gallon of it for. Maybe to do a deck or something. So that's it. Happy beekeeping.